Welcome to Elliot's PT Podcast. I'm here to help you find your balance and live your best life guilt-free. I don't believe there is a one-size-fits-all approach for health and fitness. We're all different and we need to find out what works for us. I'm passionate about helping people make realistic, long-term lifestyle changes that they will stick to and they will take with them forever. I don't believe in crazy diets or short-term fixes. We all need to live and find a perfect balance in diet and exercise that suits our individual needs. I want to help you find your exercise mojo, feel great and achieve wonderful things. Here is Elliot's PT Podcast by Renee Elliot. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Elliot's PT Podcast. So we are here today, so uh, Helen is here with me. Hello. And um, we are going to talk about our program, The Little Black Dress Project, which is coming up. We are starting another cycle on the 18th of June. So we thought it would be good to talk about it and to get people to understand more of what The Little Black Dress is all about. Um, me and Helen are both run the Little Black Dress yeah. Project, and um, so what's your what would you say the Little Black Dress Project's about? I think in a nutshell, it's a life transformation, isn't it? So yeah. we look very holistically and very deeply at, at lots of different aspects of your life um, to help you become healthier inside and out. Yeah. yeah, I think the well, we know I don't like running challenges. Anymore, yeah. so it's definitely not a challenge. Um, it is. It does go for eight weeks, um, but the goal behind it is that people can understand their bodies and themselves mm -hmm. a bit more. That at the end of the eight weeks, they, um, you know, have the tools that they can tweak. Yeah, yeah. And it's like eight weeks of education, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I guess that, that's that you then take with you. Um, so we don't kind of attach particular promises or outcomes. Yeah. You know, it's um, the promise and the outcome is that you will have this have this mm. deep understanding um, that you take with you and apply. Yeah. Long term. To it. Yeah. 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 Now, as part of the project, you become a um, so you have access to the program for life. So there is a members page, and uh, that's where lots of the um, lots of the learning comes from mm -hmm. uh, the learning also comes from we do lots of lives and check-ins and and all of that stuff but you do have access to the program for life um, and it's also good because you can go back and look at things and um, you can go back and look at things and it, you refresh your memory mm -hmm. on other things you know, if you've forgotten about something or um, that's how yeah, that's how that there, works. Yeah, you can refresh or you can think, okay, I something, one aspect of the of the, um, you know, the new habits you've put in place. One aspect you might be thinking, oh, I'm not sure about this, or maybe this is slipping. So it means you've got that resource to go back to, go to, back to. you know, just refresh, like refresh your memory. So it's, you know, it's about it's about making changes for life. For life. And so that's why we, you know, we. It's there for you. Yeah. You know? So how have you, what have you seen in people's transformations? What have you seen in the previous oh ones that we've yeah. read? Um, really huge mindset transformations. I was going to say, sometimes it's not always about the, biggest, the weight. Yeah. I think that's the biggest outcome yeah. really. And it's the most significant outcome. Yeah. Because once you've, once you've adjusted your mindset, anything is possible. Yep. Um, and it's very, um, it gives people a lot of autonomy and a lot of control and choice for themselves because our role is helping them to understand yeah. and their role is choosing to apply it. The way they know, want it, yeah, yeah, whatever their goal is. For whatever their goal is, the way it works for them. So I think um, that's very empowering for people and so I think that, that kind of combination of that um, Understanding, education, empowerment, autonomy, choice making, that's that's kind of revolutionary mm. for people. Yeah. So I think probably that's some of the most kind of um, the biggest transformations, transformations we've yeah. seen have been, you know, sort of a penny dropping about something, yeah. you know, um, 
that's people saying, okay, I really understand that I'm in control of this now, yeah. and you know, and I can I can change this outcome or I can change mm -hmm. this um, aspect of my life that is causing me dissatisfaction or yeah. unhappiness or whatever. That you know, yeah, there's something that I can do. Um, yeah, I think that. Yeah, I love seeing like people that maybe. Uh, oh, actually, I got a message this morning from someone that they had surgery, and they mm -hmm. said. Um, they can't believe they're missing the classes. <laughs> oh, really? I never thought yeah. that they would yeah. miss exercise yeah. because I can't believe I'm saying that I'm actually missing the classes. Um, I feel, I love seeing people that maybe the last cycle there was somebody that wasn't really a morning person and they were getting up and they were walking before the class or they were walking, you know, and getting their steps in. Yeah. Um, and then they started, and now they're still doing that and that was whenever the last one is you know like yeah, it was a while ago that's but they're while still ago. Yeah. they're still I love seeing things like that that they've learned it but they're still able to keep the things up where the thing that I talked about before but the things I don't like about challenges is that some, you do only do something for eight weeks mm. and I'd be good for eight weeks in commas yeah. <laughs> you know you'd be good for eight weeks and then that ends but then when the eight weeks ends you go back to what you were doing before um, and I just don't see the point of that because, you know, um, some other people tell me, was it you who was telling me there was someone that jumped from challenge to challenge to challenge? And someone else was telling me they had a friend and they jump, they just live jumping from challenge yeah. to challenge to yeah. challenge. And I was like, um, yeah, you want to. This is like the opposite of that. This yeah. is like, you know, um, let's look at. Let's look at your whole life and let's be real about the way you want to live. Yeah. Um, and let's, you know, and let's create that balance for you. That's, yeah. You know, something else I love is to see people genuinely fall in love with taking care of themselves yeah. and healthy living. Yeah. And start to realise that it's not about suffering and punishment. Yeah. And so I had somebody the other day... Um, get some good results and say, I think I'm having an endorphin rush for the first time. <laughs> yeah. And it was just like, just had the biggest smile on her face and it's because she'd made changes and achieved something yeah. and, um, you know, felt that it was all worth it and, you she know, could see. and just start to, mm. just start to fall in love with it. Yeah. Really, you know, um, because if you're not a kind of weirdo who, like me, who, <laughs> who just kind of, you know, <laughs> you know, some people, some people really love the healthy lifestyle, yes, and, yes. and you know, it just kind of, it just comes easily. But yeah, it's just, it's just seeing people that think, you know, it's, it's easier and more flexible than what I yes. imagined it would be. Yeah, um, it's but not, taking away the guilt as well, yeah. like some, you know, like. I think when people are on, I guess, a challenge, you feel like you can only eat certain foods or um, you can't do this or people, you know, I know um, yeah. people, a couple of cycles ago, some people, they really were struggling with the weekends and we really worked through that mm. to try to help people manage the week. You know, they would be good during the week and then they'd get to the weekend and then they would, yeah. and then they feel that they failed and then it was that cycle. So I think we try to work through those things. Yeah, we do. Because um, I think challenges can be quite restrictive and quite prescriptive as well. So you're kind of just told what to do in yeah. a lot of them that I'm yeah. aware of. Same the ones. And it doesn't help you, you know, to go no. out there and, and, you know, and live your life and, and do it long term. Um, yeah, it's not. And, it and it when you lose, people, that's, people. yeah, and when you lose weight, you know, like obviously... A lot of people, not everybody's goal is, but people do have weight loss goals. But um, when you lose weight too quickly or too restrictive, you're going to put it on plus yeah. more. Yeah. And that's a thing that I don't want for anybody. I want you to be able to understand the choices that you're making or understand how that can ca can cause weight gain or can cause you to feel crappy. Or, and then you can make an informed choice mm. on that. That's, that's what I feel that the little black dress project gives you mm -hmm. um, and I really like the the idea of the concept of the little back dress is it's about a feeling of how you feel when you're dressed up for a night out and you feel really good about your body uh, you feel really good about what you're wearing um, and you feel and hopefully you know the idea is that people feel that way yeah all the time yeah not just it, it, it is about a feeling and a, and a mindset 
and also the um as a mum you know and and lots of mum we see lots of mums in here and they uh struggle to put themselves first mm -hmm. they uh feel like they can't you know they don't have enough time or um you know they just they just yeah it's just not possible for them to put the time is but i guess that we really work through to show you how you can apply that yeah. for yourself yeah. Yeah. yeah what do you think um most people feel scared about joining it for what do you feel um probably fear of failure yeah and not being able to an idea that they might not be able to do the things that they perceive are required of them yeah but that's not really the ethos at all like no. the ethos is we say you know we say what are you aiming for and these are some really key behaviours and habits you'll need to have in place to do that and then we really try and support you to put mm. that in place and make those changes yeah. um so it's a that very last cycle we had those um you did those busters yeah bad habit busters bad habit busters yeah, yeah. so we got people to work out what they're because uh, a big thing about the project is about habits and we got them to work out your what kind of what your stumbling blocks before mm. Yeah. Before we got there. And what choice can you make instead? And I think the content of the project is very comprehensive, but we don't expect you to do no. everything and learn everything and change everything. We, you know, we're going to help you pick out what are some really key changes that you can make this time. Yeah. Because remember, you've got access to it for life. Term, you know. So, yeah. With some clients, we're focusing on one thing only, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, depending and with, on... And with others, with others mm. it might be two or three things. So there's no requirement to do X, Y, and Z. It's like we really work with you on, okay, like we'll tell you, you know, if this is where you want to be, these you are need the to things be doing you need to have things. in place. Mm. But it might take, it takes some people longer than others yeah. to put those things in place, and that's okay. And I think as well, because we have, we have weekly check-ins, so as part of the program, you get weekly check-ins, uh, so we do them via Zoom calls, but we also uh, have, we check in and you get body scans, mm. you know, so then you kind of know where you're at. So we do a body scan at the first week the f before we start in the middle and at the end. Yeah. So, and then we obviously assess with people, you know, these were your goals at the start, you know, we're now in the middle. Yeah. Are you? Are we on track for these? Are these still relevant? Yeah. You know, because goals can change. Yeah. yeah. And you know, when life happens, we'll just work with you on how you adjust to yeah. manage circumstances. Yeah. So there's no kind of like, oh, I'm just going to give up now and do it next See, time. See, when life you know? happens, I think that's the that's, that's like the best that's learning, the best lesson. Yeah, you know, yeah. That actually, actually, we just mm. we we look again, we repri we reprioritize, yeah. we check in, and we just say, okay, so this is what's possible now, and mm. you can still. Cause somebody um, they they were away and oh no they were sick they end up being sick with you know with like a fluey thing for, yeah. for quite a long like quite a big portion of it so she could only journal yeah. and she learned so much about yeah. her she only journaled the whole time yeah. and she actually learned so much about it. and i guess that's the, the good thing about the um being a life member is you can always you go back to things so mm -hmm. because um in eight weeks you know yes um I think you can lose a dress size. I think yeah, there's those yeah. achievable things. But I think if somebody has a, you know, if you have a um, high amount of weight, you want to lose, you're not going to lose that in eight weeks. Yeah. So you need, you know, um, you need a real, and to, to keep weight off, you need to, if, if weight loss was the goal, you need to be able to learn how to manage it. And that's why, you know, and I love seeing people when they come back and do like the next cycle, they're like, okay. Um, you know, this worked for me last time, this didn't work yeah. for me, right, I'm going to tweak it this way. And that's the things that you learn in how to manage it is, for yeah. life. And just so much understanding of what's possible for them, yeah. you know, um, and so, which means they understand themselves better than they did before, yeah. which yeah. is the point. The key, yeah. yeah it is, yeah. yeah. I feel like the little back dresses, all the things I've learned over however many years, you know, and you've been able to put it all into the, the one so I guess like I'm taking my years, and yeah. <laughs> years and years of learning to like put put it all into one to to be able to guide people. Yeah, to there's understand. a lot more to to healthy living than coming to the gym, and this is really kind of what we help you to yeah 
understand here. And following, like, um, people say, give me a food plan, I'll follow it. Yeah, you can follow a food plan, but mm -hmm. um, you're not learning anything. Not learning. But if you learn to manage your food yourself, uh, you learn to, you know, learn to manage it, learn to um, deal with going out, mm -hmm. deal with social events, deal with stressful times, deal with when life happens, then that's how yeah. you'll be able to. And it's more about feeling good in your body. Yeah. Like when yeah. you nourish your food in a different way. Somebody um, said just that they got seven hours sleep <laughs> and they couldn't yeah. believe how good they felt. Yeah. Just we have a we have a sleep challenge at the moment in the classes. People have to um, try to get at least seven hours of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, someone this morning said that they got seven hours and they they can't believe how much clearer their day yeah. is from it's good. Um, it's good stuff from yeah. getting getting um, yeah. So so yeah so that's that's there. I think I think don't feel like life needs to be perfect or you need to feel like oh I've got you know nothing else to distract me and I can just focus on this like that's not that's not the point and that's no. not where people come from to be on this project. It's like if you if you need and want to make changes that are health and fitness and lifestyle related, come and yeah. we'll work. We'll take you where you are and we'll work with you from yeah. that point onwards. And you know, and work with you. We'll work with you um, long term. Mm -hmm. on it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's another kind of thing that prevents people from coming on, which prevents us from doing all sorts of things in life that now is not the right time. Yeah. Um, but there's never a perfect time. No. No. It's just, you know, like somebody that tried the classes for the first time and had been putting it off mm -hmm. and realised that they could actually do it. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. that, you know, we, we spend years thinking that we can't do it. And the, the also, I think the big difference with the Little Black Dress Project compared to other things that I've seen or um, is it's not like, it's not a one size fits all. No, like, because. All. Um, there's people at different with different goals, um, different fitness levels, you know, different levels of knowledge of food or their mm. own health and that stuff. Mm. So that's why we do meet with you individually and we plan we plan it out. Um, I guess we plan your pathway that yeah. works to suiting you and where your yeah. goals are. Yeah. You know, and you know, yes, there was somebody that had a goal of they wanted to do box jumps and. You know, but then they, they never did any box jumps. So yeah. how can you improve on them? You know, or like people sometimes write pull ups. You know that they want to be able to do pull ups. Well, in order to do pull, you know, yeah. you need to do different types of yeah. exercises. So don't just let you set goals. We, we talk to you about. You know, we'll advise you and talk to you about. Well, okay, to achieve this, this is what this is what you need to do. Because kind of setting a goal is kind of means that you yeah, in yeah. some ways, you know. Yeah. Um, but but it's it's understanding it's understanding the habits or practices or whatever mm -hmm. it is that you need to do to get to that goal and sometimes people are quite surprised. Yes. Um, you know, by But it's setting your expectation right from the start. Like yeah. if this is what your goal you know, like if you said in eight weeks that you want to lose, you know, twenty kilos, we would be telling you that it's yeah. not really possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, not realistically possible. Yeah. But yeah, so we, we that's a big thing I think is that helping people understand their their goal, you know, what their goals are. What that, like yeah, yeah. It, it's really helping people understand the work that needs to go mm. into reaching their goals and, and you can reach any goal you want. But yeah. It's just it's just understanding what the time frame might yeah. be. And also like where you are at this point in your life. What can you actually manage? Yes, you know? with kids or yeah. you know, yeah. So you might come in and say, you know, we talk a lot about weight loss goals because a lot of the members have, have weight that loss goal. goals, yeah. so that's why we kind of refer to it a lot. That's kind of quite a common theme. But you know, you might say, I've got a kilo a week goal, and once we talk to you about all the things you have to do, you might say. I'm not, you know, mm. that's not possible for me. Yeah. X, Y, and Z is possible for me. And then we mm. say, that's fine. So then you can be looking at this. Yes. So that you just really understand, mm. you know, where you can where you can expect to be. And why, why I think that works so well is because people have an expectation 
and the expectation, let's say, it was unrealistic yeah. and they don't achieve it, so then they think they're failing yeah. or they think they're a failure or that the, the thing wasn't working, but yeah. it actually was working, their just expectation wasn't, was, yeah. wasn't set right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think when you understand those things, then, um, you know, then you can, you know, it's, you, you, you know, from the start, right, well, losing yeah. two kilos a week is, isn't. And it should be demystified, you know, like mm. people should understand, um, yeah. they should understand um, how progress is made and, yeah. you know, um, it, so that's, again, a kind of difference from a challenge where you might be told what to do. Um, are you really understanding how to make those changes mm. and, and you know, are you going to be able to apply those in the right context? Yeah. You know, um, probably not, possibly no. not. Um, yeah. That's what, yeah, I feel. Uh, there was something else I was going to say, I've forgotten. <laughs> I, I know, my mind just went a bit blank for a minute yeah. there as well. Yeah. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> it we'll, we'll finish and we'll be like, oh, damn it, why didn't I say that? I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I think that's the biggest thing. I think the biggest thing is the understanding of yourself more so then you can make the choices. And oh, and that's what I feel. I see people doing things and they were kind of doomed from the start. Not mm. their fault, but they were like, you know, set up, the thing was set up wrong and that they would never, they'd never be able to achieve it. And then you think you're actually failing, but you weren't. You're actually, you were yeah. well away on your path and then you give up and, um, you know, when when you could have kept going and um, what do you think people's biggest um, fears are for starting? You could debunk some of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, Time's a big one. Yeah. I think time. Yeah. Um, I think people say they never, they don't have enough time to. Yeah. To do to you know I don't have enough I don't I don't know how I could fit that in where if you're my belief is if you are, if you have a health issue, you know, like if you are, I guess, overweight, I guess if you're not, but not even, if you're unhappy with your body, mm. you know, like, do you have time to keep ignoring it? Yeah. Because, um, you know, th there's the things you want to, you want to feel good so you can be active with your kids, you know, so mm. then you can um, be active in your life and do things and not shy behind the camera or not. Yeah. You know, and do do you have time? Do you have time to keep wasting it? Because yeah. you know, my son just turned eight, so I don't know where eight years went. Yeah. You know, and it, yeah. I'm sure that the next eight years are going to go just as fast. So yeah, I think I think a mindset of do what you can now is is really mm -hmm. helpful in life in general. Yeah. You know, so you can apply that to all sorts of things. Like you might have a really overwhelming project in the house. So my garage, for example. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is full of stuff from my new <laughs> house. And, you know, in my head it's this kind of massive thing. But I read something, I follow this minimalist guy who, who you know, posts a lot. I'm too of scared to movie. watch that minimalist movie. Oh, yeah. Because I think <laughs> I'll end up going, I'm chucking everything out. Yeah. So I'm so scared to watch, I don't have watched it. But she posts quite a lot about, you know, just clean one corner of your yeah. room. Or, you know, mm. um, so I've kind of really been trying to apply that yeah. to other areas of my life. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. You know, just empty one box yeah. or whatever. And I think that's a really helpful mindset for your health as yeah. well. It's like, don't, you know, don't feel like, so this is, so this is really kind of outdated, but you know when people used to go on those, those TV shows where they'd go, like Biggest Loser, where they'd go and live in a house and they'd be trained five times a day, yeah, they'd yeah. be given all their food and they wouldn't be going to work. Like your life's never going to be no, like that. Like you're no. never going to be able to completely clear the decks to, to focus on no. something. So, you know, do what you can now. Start no. chipping away at it because you'll make some progress. You'll make progress. Whereas definitely. if you don't start, you're not going to make no. any progress. No. So, and that's something that we, you know, will really help you figure out. Like, mm. like I was saying before, like what is possible for you at this point in your life? What other things do you have to do? Yeah. Um, what changes can you make? And let's make those changes. And then next time okay. we'll make some more changes. Yeah. I remember, uh, that's what I was going to say before, how we introduced the personality test last cycle. Yeah, so, yeah. so people could make choices based on their personality. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's a really good feature, yeah. actually. Yeah. Just, yeah, um, that, um, 
you know, if you're, if you're, if you have this kind of personality um, type, these kind of things are suggested to work for you, and yeah. these kind of things are not going to work for you yeah. so much. So we do, yeah. So we kind of, you know, we'll kind of help you think, you know, because, because, you know, your your um, what works for your best friend might not might yeah. not work for you. Yeah. You know? So so don't think that don't think that you're doing it wrong or you can't do it. Yeah. You just need a different. A different approach. pathway. Yeah. You know, I spent a long time in teaching before I started doing this, and you know, it was a, one of the kind of challenges and joys of the job was helping people find their way that yeah. they were going to learn. You know, like that was our job to yeah, do that. It wasn't our yeah. job to say this is the way we teach. It was our job to the say only this is way. the way you learn. Yeah, and I'm gonna, you know, and I'm gonna give you the resources that you need and let you do it your way. And yes, that's, that's how it should be. Yeah, and that's how we. You know, that's how we do it. We'll figure it out with you, you know. I think as well, people struggle with time. They say, like, um, they don't have the time to prep food or they don't have the time to... But it's realising that you actually end up having more time when you're organised, you know, like... Um, you know, like, there was Lindsay who she... Mm. She resisted prepping for so long yeah. and then she started prepping and she actually ended up having more time with her kids, like had more time with her yeah. kids because yeah. um, she was organised with her food. So I think that's, I think time... And there are degrees of stuff as well, you know, like like not everybody wants to have a fridge full of, a freezer full of frozen meals, like, or, you know, doesn't, just can't get round to that. Yeah. But, but, you know, you can still make a list of what meals you're going to have in mm -hmm. the week and make sure you've got the food in for that yeah. because that's, that's really helpful because then you then you don't have to think for the rest of the no. week. So okay, you might have to do a bit of cooking, but you've got to. So you know, because I think there's everything four. Can be, everything can be scaled. Yes, yeah, there's you know, um, there's prepping styles. Or, yeah. you know, like and even one of them is order in. Order in. So if, yeah. if that works for you, then yeah. there's. No, I had a lady that that's she. She ordered in her dinner, you know, she had a lunch that was from, you know, like a mm. takeaway salad and she ordered in her dinner yeah. and we made it work because yeah. it worked, that worked for her lifestyle. And something like that doesn't have to be forever, that just no. gives you, that just takes care of that. Yeah. Mm. Um, so you can, you know, focus on whatever you need to focus on and then maybe down the line you can revisit that and go, okay, now I really want to give, you know, yeah. Food prep another try. Yeah. So it's just yeah, it's always gonna be like what's gonna work for now. you. Yeah, in, yeah. in the situation yeah. you're in. Um, I think I think time is probably I think also people worry about starting something because they feel they're not fit enough. Yeah. So they feel like they're not fit enough yeah. and that they too scared to start because I guess they may be worried about what other people will think or you know, but the thing is, everybody started somewhere, yeah. and in a class situation, you know, um, as part of it, you uh, have unlimited access to classes, whether it's virtually or in person. Um, but yeah, but in like yeah, when you come in here, everybody started somewhere. They started the, exactly the same way mm -hmm. that you feel now. And um, again, they, as part of our job, it's to scale. Yeah. 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 I think, um, you know, doing something for the first time is hard, but you only have to do it for the first time once, you know, yeah. and then it's the second time, and then it's the third time, and then you're like a regular, so it's yeah. just, you know, it's just kind of, um, it's just, yeah, it's just kind of stepping through that it's door, just doing literally it. stepping through yeah. that door, isn't it? It's and, just um, starting. Yeah, and like here, the, the members in the community is just, so lovely, yeah. And so supportive and so welcoming, yeah. Um, you know, I, don't I, feel. I mean, we've had quite a few new members mm. recently, and we you have, know, yeah. people have kind of come in a bit nervous, and then they've chatted to us and chatted to a few other members, and you know, done the workout and survived, yeah. And we've, and we've taken care of them like we yeah. always do, and they're kind of they just walk out with big smiles on their faces because yeah, it's, it's so like because nice. they've done it and it's yeah. a relief and it's like it's not scary anymore, yeah. Um, yeah. And that they, yeah, they realise that most people can, you can handle more than what you think you can. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we're here for, you know, we're here to, to help you. I understand um, that. You know, we're not here for you to come in like a perfect finished specimen. No. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> like 
like that's that's not even our job, no. you know. Like, no. The other thing is, we want we want you here. Yeah. You know? um, yeah. The other thing is um, that I want people to train hard and effectively, but mm. my job's not to smash you. No. You know, like I don't, and I think that's sometimes people's fear is they think, oh, you know, they're going to smash a trainer's going to smash yeah. me. You know, I guess they get the things from the TV shows, yeah. but that's all just yeah. the media. But that's not um, that's not. I want you to learn how to exercise for life yeah. <laughs> and yeah. to stick to it, and yeah, and, and, and be able to come back because you can walk the next day. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that kind of training. It's not, you know, it's, not, it's not safe, it's no. not our style, no. it's, you know, it's really, I mean, I don't know if some people enjoy that, but I think most people would find that very off-putting. No, yeah. Um, and, yeah, that's not what we do. We'll, we'll make sure that you're challenged, because you need to make progress, but you'll be challenged at the right level for you. Yeah. Um, so it's never, like, you're never required to do a set thing Bing. that everybody else yeah. does. That's just not how it we just do doesn't, it. just doesn't, no, it's not how it works. So I'm, ex I'm really excited for the next cycle to start. I'm excited to um, get back into it. Yeah, because we've had a bit of a break. We've had a bit so of a break from it, so break, I'm quite yeah. excited. Um, I love doing all the, um, I love doing the catch-ups during the week with everybody because I love seeing how people progress. Yeah. And I love seeing people realise things that they maybe didn't realise before, or those aha moments. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, really rewarding. Yeah, for sure, rewarding. yeah. And no matter, like, I mean, we've got some little black dress members who are, you know, experienced in their training. Yeah. Um, you know, they may have been training for a long time, um, but they're still learning. And yeah, they're still, each you know, cycle they still They're still learning. pennies dropping, yeah. you know. Um, Sometimes learn, you need like, to hear. I learn when I'm doing it, because I might be doing a live or yeah. something, and I'll think, mm, you know. Yeah. I, I could do with changing yeah, that, yeah, or, yeah. you know, that's a bit wise. Because yeah. they say you've got to hear Thing a certain amount of times before you like yeah. you you know I can't remember the exact but you know you got to hear it a certain amount of times or maybe you're just not ready quite for it yet to You've hear got to it practice haven't you and yeah. I think that's something the project gives you is like just the structure to do yeah. that and put that in place because you might know you might have whirling around in your head all the things you think you should be doing or know you should yeah, be doing yeah. or would like to do but it's just giving you some space, space support and structure to actually start practicing mm. those things um, so that you can see what happens and then you can, you know, apply it long term. Um, I think like the accountability. What, you know, it's the accountability, yeah. it's the community. Yeah. Um, it's just one of the kind of the things that gives people the biggest yeah. success, really. Because I think sometimes, you know, it's life that sometimes... People might have a rough day or, you know, but then there's always, they'll maybe post something and yeah. the support from the other people. Yeah, because you get to be in the kind of, in a group with them. Yeah. You get to share and, you know, um, you you kind of encourage each other. And yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really lovely. Kind and they talk, you know, like they'll come into class and they'll be like, and even like, even, you know, there's people that don't do it, that don't live here that they they still feel part of the community yeah. that they still um even though they're not physic they're not doing the class in person they're doing it maybe on zoom or via the app but they um they still feel like yeah, they're part of the yeah, community they're in, like they're on the social media pages and also they'll be taking part in zoom like yeah, in the live yes and facebook lives yeah. and stuff so you get to know yeah, each other that do, way they too. do get to know yeah. each other and, and help each other out it's really yeah that's really special community yeah so our next cycle starts the 18th of june which is a saturday and uh so it does go for eight weeks so if you do want to know any more information about the little bike dress make sure you send us an email or you can check it out on the website and i will get the links posted below so um that you can see the um, the information there is a wait list because we are only taking um, a limited number of people in this cycle so then we can give you all the attention that we need so um, it is best to get onto the wait list so you will be the first to know when um, when it opens and um, once we have um, at our number of members 
um, we won't be taking on any more till the next cycle. Till the next one. Yep. Yeah. So um, I think that's that's us today. Yeah. 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 Thanks for listening. All right. We'll speak to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Now, if you would like to be part of the Little Black Dress Project, you, all you need to do is make sure that you go to our website and follow the prompts and join the waiting list so you can be the first to know when the next cycle of the Little Black Dress Project opens. The Little Black Dress Project is starting on the 18th of June, 2022. So if you were listening to this before that day, make sure that you jump straight on to the website and put your name on the waiting list so you will be the first to know when the Little Black Dress project opens. There is only 15 spaces for this round, so make sure you jump on there quick.